What's good, everybody? It's your boy 313 JMO here to talk to you again. So, we're going to talk about will the Lions actually have the best offense in the NFL? First off, I want to shout out Lions on the proud Jim Bordeaux. Make sure you go check out his video of Is Stafford to Blame? Because this is where some of these rankings uh, come from. Now, when, I'm, when we're looking at it, uh, the Lions were uh, seventh. And uh, offense when Stafford was healthy, they end up being 10th and like passing. But it's things that we have to look at and break down. And the offense, for one, in order to be a best offense in the NFL, you're going to have to be complete. So that's the main thing. And we will get into the running game later. But the main thing, you got to be a complete football team. And honestly, with all the weapons that we've been adding to this team, it's about time that we reach our apex, okay? So, the Lions offensive passing rankings by year, 2011-4, uh, 2012 2013-3, 2014-12, 2015-9, 2016-11, 2017-6, 2018-20, 2019-10. Now, those are just the passing rankings, not the total offensive rankings, because our rushing numbers through those years is 24, 29, 32, 30, 32, 28, 23 it's just not really that good but my main point in this is let's look at the 2017 season when evaluating if we can be the best offense in the nfl and then looking at the context so first of all this year you had matthew stafford with the best passer rating of his career 19 touchdowns five interceptions was uh, leading the league in touchdowns was having a great season was on pace for 5,000 yards and that was without, you know, a healthy tight end at, for, for most of those games. Now, when you look at it, let's look at 2017. In 2017, we had the 32 ranked rushing attack, but we were sixth in passing and seventh in total offense. It's the highest ranked offense uh, the Lions have had. So, or at least in the last five to six to seven years. So, we were seventh in offense in the NFL with the worst rushing attack in the NFL. So I'm thinking this year, looking at DeAndre Swift, looking at the offensive line, trying to get better, hopefully it gets better. Looking at Kerryon Johnson and Jason Huntley and all of the weapons, the Lions are gonna be better than 32nd uh, in rushing. We just talked about Stafford's first year with Daryl Bevel. So if we're at least 15th, 13th, 12th, somewhere in that uh, yards of like rushing and rushing yards and total rushing offense, it's very possible. I'm saying if the Lions have a top 10 run game, we definitely could be the best offense in the league because I could easily see Stafford throwing for 5,000 yards. If it's not 5,000, it's going to be 4,730 plus touchdowns regardless. And then you just add in the running game, like – Every NFL year is different. It's fluid. Things change with certain offenses. Like when we were the fourth offense in the league when in 2011, fourth passing offense, like we were really good, but the NFL was a little bit different back then. So in 2017, to be seventh in, in total offense is very impressive. But, you know, you just, you just had Marvin Jones and Golden Tate. <laughs> now we have better talent. Now we got Amendola, and then you got Marvin Hall still. You got they trying to put Agnew on offense, and I'm just looking at it. You telling me oh, if this team can be seventh in total offense with the 32nd rushing attack, how high could they be if they had a top 10 run game, or a top five run game, or even a top 15 run game? And like it's just amazing to me how the potential of this team, when you really look at some of the nuances. And then being the best offense in the NFL, it also is going to have to do with the offensive coordinator. Now, Daryl Bevel's best years when he was uh, previously offensive coordinator were the second year. And he was never, he's never been a top offense like that high, literally the number one offense. The Lions have never been that number one offense like that under Stafford. But I think uh, things are possible. And I think a team that's going to win the division, we don't have to have the best offense in the entire league but we have to have the best offense in the division maybe not so we just got to win games and when i'm asking can the lions have the best offense in the nfl 
I think it's possible, but I'm not so sure that we can depend on the running game to be high enough to get us there. But if we can go from 32nd to top 15, then a lot of more things are possible. But you, you just gotta look at what Daryl Bell was gonna do and how it's just about TJ Hawkinson really breaking out. I really think he's gonna have a breakout season. I mean, when I mean breakout season, I don't mean a good season. I mean a, a legendary type year. I really, really think that's gonna happen if everybody's healthy how they should be. And you still gonna have Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay and, and our uh, running backs are gonna be getting a lot of receiving touchdowns and receiving yards. And this offense is gonna be extremely explosive. Marvin Hall, Jamal Agnew, one of those guys are gonna make the team and just be extremely explosive. Jason Huntley is extremely explosive. And it's possible that we could be the best uh, offense in the NFL, but you're gonna have to run the damn ball. You're not becoming no best offense without running the damn ball. Like, we could score 35 points a game. We done scored 33 points a game before. We scored high. I don't know if it's exactly 33, but we've scored 30 points a game. But that's not going to make you the best offense. You got to be able to score touchdowns. And, you know, it's not like I care about being the best. I know we'll be top 10. But it's something that I like to think about when I just look at all of these weapons you got everything clicking, and then you finally have the running game to add on to this passing offense that was just sixth and seventh. How can you, I don't understand how you can be the seventh best offense in the entire NFL with the worst rushing attack in the entire NFL. But that's what Matthew Stafford can do with little old Golden Tate and little old Marvin Jones. So what can he do if his tight end is top tier, and then he has running backs that can receive the ball, and everything is complete? along with the second year Daryl Bevel's offense, his creative offense. I think a lot of big plays are bound to happen. Also, the Lions have been a very big play team. We were, uh, you know, in the top five of the league when it comes to plays over 20 yards when Stafford was helped. It was a point where we were number one in the NFL at that. So it's just an explosive offense type of thing that we can see. It might not be possible. It might be possible. But it's just something the Lions going to have to go out and prove. But if I was to really say, do I think we could be the best offense? I do. But it's, it's tough. It's tough. Because that offensive line is really going to have to be the best O-line we've ever seen for the Lions. And I don't know if it can be that. But if that, if that pans out, then – and I really think that – both of them. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a one guy thing. I think both of them are going to work so perfectly with each other. We're going to see something that we never thought we would see. And I'm talking about with Carry On and DeAndre Swift. So, you know, they would have to maximize their talent and, you know, both go for close to 2,000 yards. It's, you know, it sounds a little bit far fetched, but when you think of the second year of the offense, we, we, we loaded with weapons, we, we top 10 with weapons in the league. And, you know, when you can be seventh in total offense with a 30-second ring rushing attack, you feel like anything is possible. And Stafford still got sacked 30-plus 30, 30 times, 35-plus times that year as well. So it's just something to think about, something that I want to ask my Lions fans. Can we have the best offense in the NFL? It's possible, but it's going to depend on the running game. Everything is hinging on, on with this running game, with this whole success this year. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy 313J Mo.